So I think today's topic is going to be talking about uh, time constraints and you know not having enough time for the gym, not having enough time. You know I got to get my workout in a specific amount of time and I can't do it. You always can make time for your workouts, guys, and that's what I make today's topic about because I have to kind of rush today to make it to an uh, personal training client at Gold's. So you're gonna see. Do you guys like these kind of videos where instead of just having me talking, you listen to me the entire time? I kind of show my progression, show my footage, and have a relatable topic while you're watching me lift. So uh, let me know in the comments below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the commentary. Alright guys, so we are in the gym today doing some chest, everybody's favorite exercise to do. Um, and today is actually a pretty monumental day for myself because I managed to get up to 240 pounds. And now I've done 240 pounds before, but I've always had a lifting partner in the gym. I always used to lift with Nick. He doesn't go to this gym just yet. He might end up going to this gym. So I have to unrack the weight myself, which, as you guys may know, takes a lot of energy. Um, it also takes some positioning kind of um, technique almost because you need to be not so far up on the bench, not so far down on the bench, so that you're not having to... Um, you know, the arc of carrying the weight from the rack to the starting position is, you know, is as least as amount as possible. I, you know, I watched some of the Omar videos and he has a nice, you know, bench where he can just lift the weight directly up and then the rack itself kind of angles back, which is very convenient. I don't know why this gym or most gyms don't have that. But anyway, 240 pounds you guys are going to see here. And one thing I want you to watch on my third rep, guys, watch my wrist. Ready? One, two, and the third rep. See that little, that little jiggle of my arm? That's the same thing that happened to me when my uh, the weight sl slipped out of my hand. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I still finished this set. Then I actually moved the weight down to 235, I believe. And then I actually moved it down to 230. Then I went down to 225 because I was feeling fatigued. And then I actually went back up to 230 pounds. But um, the whole purpose of this video is going to be kind of time constraints because normally I, uh, I have one personal training client that's, you know, I, I do it extremely part-time. And I usually, you know, work with her at about 6.30, 6.15, right when I got off work. Um, but I had some things to do later in the week, so I wanted to make it earlier in the week. But she couldn't do 6.30, so she had to make it at about about 7 to 7.15. So what that meant is I had to get home and get into the gym. And I only had about 45 minutes to get my workout in. And sometimes, you know, that's all the time you have. I, I, I love, generally I think a good workout for me usually lasts any from anywhere from about an hour to an hour and a half. Generally closer to the hour and a half mark um, as you guys see here doing 225 cranking it out is when I started going up to 230 um, but today's you know workout chest only took about 45 minutes it, it, it took and you know a lot of times when you start out lifting people will say you know you must have 30 seconds in between rest time must have 15 seconds in between rest time and I don't really go by that time a lot of people will ask me how much you know, rest so I take in between my sets, and I really, I don't have a set time, I just get in there and I, I dilly-dally really, and I just, you know, when I'm ready to do the next set, I do the next set, so that's, that's what I do, but I didn't have that much time today, so I kind of had to, you know, hustle through my workout, as you guys see here, I'm starting out floor presses, which I've never actually done, and while I was doing these, a guy came up and said I should like hold a board on my chest, but I just, I didn't really want to do that at the time. Uh, you know, I'm doing about 275 pounds, and then I go up to 280, I believe. Or, what am I saying? 180, not 280. Um, very cool exercise. I really felt it in my chest, and you can definitely feel the explosion off um, once you get your you know, arms all the way down. The last set in this rep was a grinder, which you guys are going to see. And I'm not sure what I would do if I couldn't get the way back up. I'd probably just let it sit there <laughs> and just chill my triceps. Um, very cool exercise. I don't know if I'm really doing this right. Is this is this how I'm supposed to be doing this? Watch this last rep right here. Look at this. Grinder. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Thought it was going to come back down on my face. But um, how much time do you guys take in the gym? How much time do you think is necessary to take in the gym? I mean, look here. I got This workout normally takes me an hour and 15 minutes, maybe close to an hour and a half. But I got the whole damn thing done in 45 minutes because I didn't waste time. And it... It's like, could I have lifted maybe heavier weight if I had taken some more rest time? Sure, but in some time constraints, it ain't that serious, guys. So just get in the gym, push yourselves with what time you do have. Um, 45 minutes will be perfect, and uh, you know it'll really make you get what you need to get done, done. Hope you guys like this video. I'll talk to you later. Hope you guys liked that video. I'm off to work with a client now, um, and I'm not going to be home for another hour and a half. 
no food guys no post-workout nutrition up in here so um, yeah just goes to show that it ain't that necessary see you later guys